In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create uh, a VLOOKUP and how to create drop-down lists. The end product of this tutorial will be an invoice that will be printed, print uh, the, the transaction in detail. In this case, we're looking for uh, fruits. The first field is the number of the f kilograms that the customer would like to buy. The second uh, field is the, the, the type of the fruit that they would like to buy. Then we apply the costing per kilogram and then we multiply the cost per kilogram with the amount of kilograms that the customer will buy. And then we add in the 20% of VAT and then we apply the, the price including VAT. Once the transaction is completed, the, the staff, member of staff, will be able to print, select the print button, uh, print invoice button, and it's going to print the invoice, and this invoice will be handed in to the customer. Here, we have some fields that we, we're going to hide them later on by highlighting the columns, right-click, hide. So in this case, I'm going to hide them again, right-click, uh, on hide. The reason I'll hide them is because I would like to see uh, the, the, the detail, in detail, what is going on here. So here we are created on the booking form, I've created some drop-down lists. Now based on the drop-down lists, the information that we're going to select, so if we select here £4.20, let's select uh, £1. Now the £1 field is the first record on, the, on our data. So if we go to our data worksheet, the first ID is for the numbers is 1, the second is 2, etc. The first ID for the fruits is orange, the second ID is bananas, third ID is apples. For the cost per kilogram, the first ID is £1, second ID is £1.50, etc. So if I go to my booking form and select the £1, now I know that £1 is one, the ID number 1. The banana is, as you can see, is on the, on the ascending order anyway. So the oranges is the ID number one. And number one is on the numbers record data is the, number, uh, the ID number one as well. So if I check my order, here I've got number of kilograms one, fruit one, cost per kilogram one. Here I'm displaying, displaying the, only the IDs. Then, based on the IDs, I'm creating a VLOOKUP that will check the value that is sto stored within this cell, and then is checking the data that is within the data workbook, and it will display the second column and it will display the second column. And I'm following the same process for the rest. So I'm creating a VLOOKUP. The VLOOKUP value, it's going to check this cell. The data that is checking here is this data. And again, we, display, we would like to display the second column. We're displaying the second column, and the second column is the name of the actual fruit. And the same will go for the cost per kilogram. Go back to our data. Here is the cost per kilogram. Okay, let's go back to the invoice. The first uh, column that we're looking at is Q2. Here, the data is stored within our data worksheet. And again, we're looking for the second column. Second column. Now, here we create a simple calculation to multiply the number of uh, uh, kilograms that the customer will buy times the amount uh, amount amount that cost the amount of cost per kilogram. So, one times one equals one pounds. Now we're going to apply here, if we would like to include the VAT with our total price, what we're going to have to say is times this cell with this cell 
and then add this cell again in the end. So that when we actually multiply the percentage with the actual total amount, we're going to find the total amount for only for the VAT. So then what we have to do, we have to actually plus this amount with the total amount that the customer has to pay in order to find out the VAT plus the total amount. Then what I did, I highlighted this information, the invoice, I went to my page layout, set print area, okay, I'm going to select the print area here, and that's why this border came along. So when I actually print the invoice, the only area that will be printed is just this area. I created a button by right clicking, I have signed a macro, and this macro taking the steps. If you can't remember how to create a button, please refer to the previous tutorial. Let's go to the booking section. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to take you through again uh, the drop-down lists. I'm going to uh, delete these uh, drop-down lists and I'm going to recreate them. So basically here I've got uh, some uh, simple buttons, uh, sorry, uh, field names. Here I've got a button. Let's move this button further to the right. Again, if you can't remember how to create a button, please refer to the previous tutorial. I'm going to go to my Developers tab, select the drop-down list for the insert, I'm going to select the combo. I'm going to draw it to combo, combo box. I'm going to use my uh, arrows to place it uh, uh, in specific uh, play location. And now, because I've got the right uh, height that I'm happy with, I'm going to copy and paste uh, this combo box three times, two more times, sorry. And the only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just change the, the width. I'm going to use my uh, arrows, place it to the right location, increase the width or reduce the width. Uh, I'm going to select now that one. And here we go. Right, now what, what I'm going to have to do is uh, right click uh, on my first combo box, number of kilograms. I've got some data on, on the data's, uh, data worksheet, I've got some data there that I will be able to actually select. I'm going to go to format control. From the control tab, I'm going to select for input range. I'm going to go to my data and I'm going to select uh, this uh, information here. Uh, for the link, cell link, I'm going to go to my invoice and select this cell. And then click OK. Now if I select 7, go to my invoice. Here displays number 7. OK. If I, let's remove this. If I go to my booking and select the drop down list here, nothing will happen. And on the invoice, nothing will happen here either. So what I have to do is go to my booking, right click, format control. Now I have to select the fruit. So the input range will be the actual fruits. So I'm going to go to the data, oranges, bananas and apples. And for the cell link, I'm going to select the invoice link there, here, just below the, the word fruit. Okay, now if I drop down the list, uh, apples are, is my third record, so first record, second record, third record. If I go to my invoice, third, third record, so the third record is using the VLOOKUP to display apples. I'll go through the VLOOKUP in a minute again. Now let's finish the R booking form. So I'm going to right click here, cost per kilogram. Uh, I'm going to select format control. For the input range, I'm going to go to the data, select uh, my price list, and click here. Um, for the cell link, I'm going to select uh, the invoice, select this uh, section here on the invoice 
click OK. And cost per kilogram, so let's say two pounds. Two pounds is the third record. Uh, and as you can see here, <coughs> this place the two pounds. So if I go to my data for color clarification, one, two, three. The third record is two pounds. If I go back to my invoice, third record is two pounds. So how do I display this data? So let's remove this uh, VLOOKUP. Let's start again. So I'm going to create a new function. This function will be, uh, I'm going to keep pressing the V key on my keyboard to find the VLOOKUP. Click OK. The lookup value that we're looking at is this cell. The table array that we're looking at is this. <coughs> so make sure you select the ID as well. And uh, we would like to display the second column. So here I'm going to type number two. I'm going to follow the same process. So new function. I'm going to keep pressing the V key on my keyboard. Note that if you will not be able to see the VLOOKUP here, make sure on the OR SELECT category drop down list all is selected. And then keep pressing the V key on your keyboard until you find VLOOKUP. Click OK. The value that we're looking at is the fruit here. The array is on our data. So we're going to highlight the IDs as well as the fruits. And the column that we would like to display is the second column again, because the second column displays the names. Click OK. Then, cost per kilogram, I'm going to create a new function. This function is, again, it's going to be the VLOOKUP function. And now, the VLOOKUP function value that I'm looking at for the cost per kilogram is the cost per kilogram value. The table array is on the data. Let's move this further down and we'll have to highlight this data. And again, I'm looking for the second column, not the first column, the second column. So I'm going to type here 2 and click OK. Then here I'm creating, uh, let's delete the formula here. I'm going to create a new formula. I'm going to say equals that one, the amount of uh, kilograms times the cost per kilogram. Enter to find the total amount. Now I have to pay the 20 pass, the customer has to pay 20% of VAT. So in this cell here, I'm just going to use this cell here for uh, an example to show you exactly why this figure is correct. I'm going to say equals the percentage times the total amount. Enter. Now we have, let's convert this into a currency. We have to pound 80. Now, what we're doing here is by multiplying these two cells, this cell by this cell, we actually found what is the 20% out of this cell, this amount. So what we need to do now, we have to say this amount, the full amount here, the total amount, uh, plus the VAT. So what we have to do here is we have to expand on our formula. And what we did, we here, we created some brackets and we said plus the total amount and that's how we found this figure so here if I put these two cells again you don't have to put them in brackets but if you do put them in brackets you do break down the information and make it easier for other people to understand uh, so we say now we found the VAT, we want to actually add on top of the VAT the total amount. So I'm going to select this cell and press enter. And that's how we have this figure here, 1680, 1680. Once I'm happy, so let's delete that. Once I'm happy, the customer will be able to print the invoice. Now let's go to the booking. Let's change some figures. So I'm going to select 10 oranges, 5 pounds per orange, check order, 10 oranges, five pounds per kilogram, this is the total amount, plus the VAT, including VAT, the total amount will be 60 pounds. And then the this member of staff will be able to print the invoice and hand it in to the customer. Before I finish the tutorial, what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, I'm going to highlight these columns, I'm going to right click and hide them, because the customer doesn't have to see this. 
Thank you for watching.